in the previous videos we show how to uh, look at a configuration of a particular uh, firewall or router etc here on the configuration monitor we show how you can compare configurations look for shadow rules report on those we're going to see how further uh, risk manager can help you on managing devices so the first thing let's say that we 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 want to see the impact of making some changes on some of uh, of the of my firewalls or routers etc and I want to see the impact of it so let's say that I'm analyzing uh, the path between uh, two particular um, IPs and in this case I'm going to select the uh, two that are internal typically you do this with uh, one internal and external but uh, just to illustrate the case and I'm going to go between this uh, IP address and uh, this one okay and in here I'm going with any protocol in 723 which is not the version I have in this demo uh, we we can actually have the granularity of looking at the different protocols Facebook Skype uh, whatever uh, so but in here we're going to do just do it for for any protocol and I click search in here and I see that definitely there is a path between the two and there are two firewalls that I can actually play with between these two subnets the 120 and the 5 and I can play with those uh, rules and modify the traffic but I want to see what the impact of that uh, would actually be so I go here to the connections database as, as I said before uh, the connection database has all the flows that have gone I mean every hour uh, uh, the, the the connection database get fed from the Arial database and we get all the flows and makes faster searches on those and and what I'm going to do is actually see the type of traffic that it, that it is between these two devices so I'm going to select all the traffic not, not just last hour uh, and in, in here on the search parameters I'm going to actually uh, uh, put the destination address is uh, 10.0 dot uh, 120 dot 40 I believe it was and the source is uh, 10 dot 0 dot uh, 5 dot 2 to 7 those were the two that we that we knew that we because you just saw that there was a path between the two but I want to be more specific about the type of traffic because we're going to be playing with things like port so I'm going to actually say, well, the destination port is going to be 445. And the type of protocol that I want to actually restrict or modify is actually the application flow. So the flow application in here that I'm going to select, uh, and, and I'm, I'm interested in data transfer type of protocol and look at all the granularity that we have in here and the one that I'm interested is in restricting Windows file sharing so the first thing that I want to do is say well let's see if there is such a traffic going on between these two which, which I suspect there is and sure enough I see some traffic in here and I can actually uh, in a real case probably I will have more traffic than that not in this uh, data I have in the demo and when I click here I can see the actual connection and I and this this I know that is only accept but I can see the traffic for accept and deny if I would be there would be some rules that would be denied the traffic I still will see it in this graphic so you can actually it's very powerful you can actually you know play uh, play around uh, with that and you can do things like uh, just to illustrate the the point let me make an, a new search and let's say that uh, I'm actually going to be looking at the all the, f for example, Facebook that uh, a particular IP address is actually doing. So in here, I'm going to select uh, 10.0.110.123, and I add that filter, and I make a search. Oh, but this is going to give me actually all the traffic. Uh, this is. I'm interested just in Facebook so I can actually go ahead and edit that search and add another parameter which is the uh, application flow right and, and look at all the things that I can play with I mean these are the type of things that you play when you are you know modifying rules on your firewall router IPS etc so in here I'm gonna go uh, all the way down here to the where the web 
protocols are and I'm going to select, look at all this granularity, I'm going to select uh, Facebook should be in here and there it is and, and, and not only Facebook but I'll, I can even be granular on what are the things that I'm looking people posting on on Facebook or, you know doing shares etc but let me just leave it as a general thing on like that and I perform a search and from that all, all the traffic that I saw coming from that IP I see that these are the type of traffic they are doing uh, with uh, with Facebook we show in the previous video how to use the policy monitor to, to help you manage your, your network and find things that are abnormal. But you can actually use it here to, to help you on managing your firewalls. For example, we can actually create a new uh, policy. And uh, notice that these are the type of things that you, again, play with the rules on, on when you are creating your, your firewalls. So I can, uh, you know, see you know have accepted communication to the internet or you know uh, let's say that I select this one have accepted communication to destination IP address and I'm gonna put uh, the address that we actually put before I, I believe it was yeah this one 10.21.1.40 and click OK and so I have that uh, that particular uh, uh, parameter there and notice that I can do this on actual communication meaning going to the to the to the database of, of flows that already happened or actually make it on possible communication it might not have happened but you know there's a possibility of that actually uh, that's actually going so I can actually oh I need to give a name to that so it says uh, policy this one and gonna save that and I should have it in here. Now uh, here it is. I can actually uh, go ahead and, and and actually I can add it to the monitor. And and in here I can decide how often do I want it to run and get evaluated. And as a consequence, I can dispatch events that can trigger offenses, or I can say an email, or you know, all that all that all that good stuff. Uh, but we're actually, I, actually, I'm not going to be uh, putting that on the monitor, so I'm closing that window. And what I can actually do is actually uh, go ahead and, 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 and run that particular uh, uh, policy by clicking here, submit question. And then that policy gets evaluated very quickly because, again, all that data is in the connection database. And these are the results of that policy being evaluated. So yet another way of actually seeing how you can foresee the impact. First of all, know, know what's there and then foresee the impact of changes you want to make on your devices. Or uh, the simulation I I in, in Curator is actually meant to um, simulate attack and see how attacks uh, can actually progress on, on, on your network, but it also can be used to uh, help you manage your devices if you think of an attack or as, as, a, as an access. I mean, if I get access to something, I can attack it. So you can actually um, uh, use the simulation as well. So let's go ahead and create an, a new uh, simulation. And notice the granularity of the things that we have in here, right? So we can actually uh, select, uh, let's say that we want to uh, first of all, from this pull-down menu here, I want to select attack that originate from the internet. So this option right here, right? And then uh, let's say that uh, the attack target, and notice all, all these things that I can do here. Let's say that I'm going to select, for lack of a better example, uh, attacks that f uh, follow one of the reference sets. We have spoken to the reference set at length before. And let's say that I'm going to select one of the reference sets, uh, this blacklist that I have here. So I click Add, click OK, and I have created a simulation. So I'm going to call uh, simulation uh, simulation one. And uh, I can run this on the current topology that I have or a, 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 another topology. And I'm going to show how you can modify, make changes, theoretical changes on the topology. And in here, I'm going to use in the connection data that exists on the, on the actual uh, database. So I can save the simulation. And I can actually, uh, you know, I have the simulation here and I can 
actually uh, run the actual uh, simulation. So like here, run simulation, and then pretty quickly I should get the results of that if there has been any traffic uh, coming from the internet to that uh, selected uh, 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 selected uh, reference set. So as we click here, now that the simulation already finished, uh, we see that there is a, there is no result. I mean, not, none of that traffic that I was expecting from the internet to that uh, list of IPs that I have on my blacklist actually happened. But if this, if they would have been, then we, we would have seen those uh, in here. Oh, I can go here on the topology models, and I can actually simulate that I'm adding things into into uh, my existing topology. So let me let me do on this simulation. I'm going to create a new topology. And notice that I I'm going to call this uh, uh, topology one, whatever topology model one. That, that's a good name. Uh, so I can you know rules of the device that allows communication. From notice the thing. I can even add a new asset. I can add a new IPS, a new firewall, and see what's the what the simulation goes. Uh, uh, changes as a result, right? So let's say that I add this one and say what what selected device are you going to be uh, choosing there? So let's say that you know it's going to be uh, of a device of the you know this type of a particular firewall, uh, and I click uh, which are the devices that I have in there. And let's say that I select uh, this one, the data center, right? And I add that one and click OK. So that's the device I'm going to have. That's one of the firewalls that I have. And I can click here, allowed or denied. You know, let me leave it on allowed. On, uh, you know, I can put here any any CDA uh, range. And I'm going to put, uh, let me put this one. Uh, so I put that CDA range and the destination in here uh, again I, I'm gonna select all uh, click OK and uh, what protocols and again in 723 I can I, I even have more granularity I can actually select here them all but I have granularity onto layer 7 protocols as well so done in here and what port so let's say that I'm going to select uh, just port 80 yeah so 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 you see the picture I'm, I'm really making a change in, on one of my devices that exists today I could even add another device and I actually included that in the model so what happened if I actually made that change I can go back to my simulation and pick up the previous simulation that I had uh, simulation one uh, so I can uh, edit the, this uh, simulation and instead of running on the existing topology that I have I can actually run it on the topology model 1 that is the one that I have before notice that this gets grayed out because I cannot use the connection data because this is actually a new topology and if that is the case I click here simulation and I can actually run it as I did before in uh, and see uh, the, the the actual uh, result of that. So it's very powerful. Allows you to really see uh, a bunch of things that uh, foresee the, the changes be before you actually uh, go in uh, go in with it. So I can again run this this simulation, which is now uh, different uh, from the one that ran before. I notice that I have two here. You know, this is the 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 most recent one and I can click on it and probably there isn't any data either but if there would have been you would have seen it and this includes the topology model one which is the change that I made so this can help you tremendously to foresee the result of your changes on your firewalls and, um, and help you manage the, those